Alright. So, muli tayo nagbabalik para sa panibago nating lesson. It's all about the animal diversity. So, pag-uusapan natin dito, literally, it's all about the animals, no? Animals lang po, no? At hindi po mga plants. Yung plant diversity ay itatakal out natin siya next lesson after nito. Um, so, <coughs> so, pupunta tayo sa parameters of animal classification. So, unahin natin yung kanilang symmetry. Ano ba yung ikan, ibig sabihin ng symmetry? No? Um, they allow an animal to be divided into equal parts. It's like, for example, yung asymmetry, radial symmetry, and then bilateral symmetry. No? So, kapag sinabi natin asymmetry, they have no patterns of sim or symmetry. Just like, for example, yung phylum porifera. No? which are the, which they are the invertebrates no and then radial symmetry they have longitudinal orientation which produces mirror image halves just like uh, phylum nidaria and then phylum echinodermata no and then bilateral symmetry they have a head and tail or anterior versus posterior no? and the back and underside which is the dorsal and then ventral side and then and the rest of the phyla is nag um, nag-exhibit ng ganitong klaseng symmetry which is the bilateral symmetry and then ayan po yung kanilang um, kind ng symmetry uh, asymmetry, radial symmetry at saka <coughs> bilateral symmetry no, ayan po yun um, next po, metamerism um, they're in the presence of segments or repeated units just like yung millipedes and then centipedes and then under po ng kanilang phylum ng, na, meron, na present dito yung meta, metamerism or yung presence ng, presence ng kanilang segments or repeated units just like yung phylum cordata, arthropoda, and then anelida. No? And po. Then next po, yung embryonic tissues. <coughs> they are complex tissues and organs are developed in terms of number or layers. It's like yung simpler animals, they are peripherans and nidarians. They only have two germ layers or diploblastic, no? And then, yung complex animals have a three germ layer, which are the triploblastic. At nakikita nyo naman yung kanilang differences, di ba? Um, nakikita natin yung differences kung saan nag-exist yung kanilang mesoderm. Kung meron bang non-living layer ba dito or meron ditong mesoderm dito sa gantong klaseng embryonic tissue. Nakikita nyo naman sa image. <coughs> so, and pa. In terms of body cavity or colon, so where vital organs ay naka, nandun sa part na yun, sa body cavity na yun. Yung pseudocolum, wala siyang body parts. And then simpler animals, simpler animal groups or phylum, or yun nga, groups like peripherans, nidarians, nematodes, and platyhelminthes are pseudocolum. Then yung colon have a true body parts. Yung complex animals like arthropods, mammals, and anilida are yung colon. And then yung acolum have lack of colon. No? So meron tayong colum, tatlong klaseng colum, pseudocolum, eucolum, and then acolum, no? Yan, nakikita natin. Yung acolumate, no? Isang example niyan ay mga flatworms. And then yung eucolumate, um, ang meron taglay nito yung mga anelids, mollusk, arthropods, echinoderms or echinoderms, and then yung chordates. And then yung pseudocolumate, um, ang meron nito taglay yung mga round worms. Then, according to the location of skeletons, just like yung endoskeletons where the bone is located in the, inside the body, just like yung mammals, and then yung exoskeleton where the bones located outside the body, just like, for example, yung insects and then yung mollusk. At ito po yung example nila. Yan po. Tayo as a human, we are the endoskeleton. Meron tayong endoskeleton. No? Siyempre, nasa loob yung ating puto. Hindi tulad sa exoskeleton na nasa labas. Just like yung mga arachnids or mga spiders, yung mga shrimps, yung mga crabs, and then yung beetles. No? No? <coughs> the next po, BV variety and then OV variety, no? which is which they are under the mammalian development. Kapag sinabi natin BV variety, they're having their young develop inside the mother's body. And then yung OV variety, they are having a young develop and hatch from egg that they lay. Yung egg laying, which is the, um, yung oviparus or oviparity, isang example nyo dyan yung mga, um, yung mga nag-hatch ng kanilang, um, ng egg, no? And then yung variety just like yung mga mammals, di ba? Na, yun yan, literally mammals na, um, na nade-develop inside the mother's body. Just like, for example, yung mga, uh, mga aso, tayo, mga tao, they are the, um, yung ating mamalang development ay under ng baby variety, di ba? And then, kasi galing tayo sa sinapupunan, which is, ayun nga, nakita naman natin. And then, according to the digestive tract, no, we have the enterozoans have a digestive tract, and then yung parazoans, wala silang digestive tract. No? 
um mapunta na tayo dito sa vertebrates and then invertebrates no so simulan muna natin sa invertebrates no um yung mga invertebrates their lack of backbone which is present in vertebrates just like for example yun nga kung nanonood tayo ng mga uh, paborito nating mga cartoons na tayo ay bata pa si SpongeBob at si Plankton no silang example ng mga invertebrates and then next po yung mga sponges they are belong to phylum porifera which lives in shallow and deep oceans young sponges are motile while adults are attached to solid materials like rocks or seaside The body of a hard sponge is called spicules, which is a network of protein fiber supports, sp- soft sponges. This is, the, this is the one used for batting and washing, katulad. Uh, which is similar din siya sa mga ginagamit nating mga sponge, diba? <coughs> sa habang tayo naguhugas ng ating pinggan. Then, food and water is brought inside ostia, or the filter feeder. Waste water and materials go out of the sponge through the osculum. No, and then... Another characteristic ng sponge, they are mostly asymmetrical. There are two cell layers, just like yung outer cell layer nila, meron silang taglayin epidermal layer, and then yung inner cell layer nila is lined with zoonocytes, which are flagellated cells used to bring in food and water through ostia. No, not made up of tissues, and the body is bearing many pores. And then, um, yan po yung structure ng isang sponge. No? And... Okay pa. So next po, mapunta tayo sa Nidarian. Yung members ng phylum Nidaria consist of animals whose tentacles contain stinging cells called nematocyte. Nematocyst, no? Um, these poison-filled structures are used uh, for defense and to capture their prey or food. Once released, this can be painful and even fatal like an attack by jellyfishes. Corals, fro- corals form colonies of various colors and secrete a hard skeleton. A coral reef is where fishes and other marine organisms breed. So, another another characteristic ng Nidarians, um, um, the, they have a two body forms, just like yung sisail polyp and then motile larva and medusa. No, sac-like gut with one opening or no anus, which which contains the dead end of digestive tract. No? And then, ha, they have a radial symmetry, two cell layers or diploblastic, just like yung ectodermic layer and endoderm layer. Stinging nematocyst, no? A long tentacles to capture prey and for defense. And then, Nidarians have a gastrovascular cavity. So, ayan po yung mga Nidarians. Base na rin po sa na-mention ko po kanina. So, ito pa po. <coughs> yan po yung mga examples ng Nidarians. Hindi ko na po babanggitin since nandiyan na rin naman na po. So, another example pa ng Nidarians, no? Just like yung Hydrozoa, they consist um they have a hydroid or hydra like some are jelly like no then skyphozoa they are the true sea jellies and then anthozoa it includes corals and sea animals and lac medusa face polyps only so ayan po sila so magproceed na tayo sa pl- phylum platyhelminthes <coughs> so it came from the greek word platis which means flat and then hell means which means worm only have one opening for digestive tract and then can be parasitic, carnivorous, or herbivorous. And then according to the um, cephalization, um, nagde-develop sila in terms of, um, de- nagde-develop yung kanilang head. No? So the concentration of sense organs, nervous control, etc. and the anterior end of the body forming head and brain, both during evolution and in the course of embryo's development. So, Their doors are ventrally flat bodies, and then they have a three layers just like epidermis, mesenchymes, and then endodermis. No, katulad din po dun sa Nidarians, I think. Um, sa Nidarians din, um, I will check dito sa kabilang slide. Um, I observed din dito, um, katulad din sa Nidarian or Pylum Nidaria, <coughs> they have no anus din. Which means, meron silang dead end na digestive tract. And then, just like for example, yung mga flatworms and then yung mga planarians, di ba? So, sa flatworms, they're mostly free-living predators or scavengers. They're dead and then organic matter. Many are brightly colored and yung kanilang uh, motility um, in terms of cilia or muscular movement only. And then yung mga planarians, they're free-living, feed on small animals or scavenge. And then yung cilia for movement. And then yung flux. No? It's like yung um, mga parasitic um, parasitic in liver, lungs, bladder, or blood vessels of vertebrates. No? They are the primary host for adult flu. No? In terms of vertebrate, no? and then yung intermediate host for larva is usually a snail. 
in terms of tapeworms, they're specialized parasites for life in intestine or the predigested food. No, they are attached to host by scolex. No, um, it's either sucker and and yung kanilang parasitic flatworm, and then yung kanilang tapeworm, ayan. <coughs> ayan, yung tapeworm, magkaiba na po yun, and then nandito na po tayo sa tapeworm. So, sa tapeworm, um, there are also parasitic flatworms like flukes without a digestive system. It can have fish, cows, and pigs as host. Humans can be infected with tapeworms if they eat and cook fish, beef, or pork. No? And po sila. So, um, roundworms are members of phylum nematoda. They have long, cylindrical, and slender bodies. No, they are free living while other while others are parasites of animals and plants and they're important as they are decomposers in the soil in both marine and fresh waters um, and then they have a decaying organic matter and then your parasit parasitic crowned worms can be found in moist tissues of plants and animals and then your heartworms for example can infect the dogs and then your mga cats no kaya mas talagang delikado delikado pag lalo pa silang na infect and then humans can be infected with parasitic crowned worms such as tri um, trichina worms, hookworms, and, and, the more, and the more common pinworms and the ascaris afflicting um, children. So, um, they are pseudocolomate and then they have a chemoreceptors, no? just like your phasmid and then amphids. Your phasmid, they have a posterior, they are located in the posterior end of their body and then your amphids, they are located in the anterior end of their body. No, para mas maging familiar kayo sa spon um, ito sa SpongeBob. Did you remember that time na sinipsip ng mga nematodes yung bahay ni SpongeBob kaya wala siyang materahan. No? Nakita niyo naman. And then yan yung Ascaris lumbricoids according to their internal structure ayan po sila. Malalaman na malalaman sa posterior end ng Ascaris no kung ano yung kanilang gender. Nakabaluktot kapag lalaki and then straight lang kapag babae. No? And then, in terms of analytes, no, nandito naman tayo sa magkaibang apart, no? Um, or the segmented worms, these are characterized by segmented or repeated body parts. This makes them move easily and with flexibility. They are mostly found crawling in moist soil or swimming in sea and fresh waters. No? So, they have a tiflosole, which is analogous with the vilus of the human intestine. So, they have well-developed nervous circulatory, digestive, reproductive, and excretory system. Just like for examples of annelids are earthworms, polychids, and leeches. No, according to sa pagkakasunod sunod ayan. No? At yun nga, mahirap naman siguro kung makapitang ka ng linta. No, kung madalas kasi naobserbahan ko kasi mas ma, mas kumakapit yung linta sa may mga sugat. No, lalo na sa papaglumulusong pa din. Ako nadikitan na rin yan. Eh. And then ayan, no, basta sa nakikita ninyo. <coughs> each, seg each segment contains most of the internal structures of this system. So gas exchange only occurs by diffusion through their skin. Earthworms need to be in most moist place like under rocks or stay buried in the soil because they get nutrients and eliminate some of the waste in terms of castings through the anus. In, the, in this way, they aerate the soil and the castings serve as a fertilizer. No, yun. So malaki na itutulong din niya at the same time. So, in terms of earthworm, ay, earthworm ba? Um, hindi pala. Polychaetes pala. In terms of polychaetes, they're under the class polychaeta or polychaeta, no? Um, they're the bristle worms, no? Most polychaetes are marine living in tubes attached to rocks or sand. They get floating food through the feathery gills or the sandworms. Have many seta or setae, no? According to um, some other pronunciation or the bristles that extend from the parapodia or the appendages. No? Typically, polychaetes either filter feeders or carnivorous. So in terms of earthworms, they're under the class of oligo oligochita. They, they are found in terrestrial and freshwater habitats. They're herbivorous or tetrivorous, no? and then few setae and no parapodia, and they are herma hermaprotitic. No? Yun yung kanilang characteristic. No? And then, ayan. So, in terms of leeches, they are under the class Huridina. And then, leeches are blood-sucking annelids. No? They have sucker in both ends of their bodies and they are also used to attach themselves to their host. No? They secrete an anti-clotting chemical that has been used in medicine. They live in marine, um, fresh, ma fresh water, and terrestrial um, um, terrestrial habitats. No? They have no bristles and no parapodia. No? And they can be free living carnivorous or parasitic. So, ayan. So, in terms of mollusks, 
no? They are under the pile of mollusca. They are soft-bodied invertebrates with most of them covered by a shell. They have complex respiratory, reproductive, circulatory, digestive, and excretory systems functioning together for their survival. And then, <coughs> the mollusk body has three parts. They are the muscular foot for locomotion, a mantle that produces the shell, and the visceral mass that contains their internal organ. No, and then mollusks consist of three classes, just like gastropods, gastropods, bivalves, and cephalopods. Diba po? And then meron tayong dalawang klaseng mollusk, which is the univalves and then bivalves. No? Um, um, according to the class poly, poly Placophora, or the chitons, no, maring omnivores that um that scrape algae and other organisms with radula. No? Um, their clings tightly to rock with foot. No? So, anong may ibig sabihin ng radula? They're the oral cavity. No? According to its microscopic view. And then, in terms of gastropods, they're also called univalves. No? As you have observed, has only one shell. They're mostly marine with freshwater and terrestrial members. So, those living in seas have gills for breeding and those, in, those on land use the liming of their mantle as lungs. Sea and land slugs as well as nudie branch are example of gastropods. So, According to its name means the stomach foot, no? Basis naman sa nakikita ninyo, lalo na sa snail. And then, yung radula or oral cavity ang kanilang ginagamit for feeding. And then, they glide by using muscular foot. Some slugs have a posomatic coloration or the warning colors, no? Para um, hindi sila matreten, no? No. And then, they are either carnivorous or herbivorous. According to bivalves, it consists of one, two, <coughs> it consists of two shells attached to each other. Some bivalves are attached to rock while the others remain in the sand or mud. They use their mantle cavity to feed by trapping suspended particles in water and for gas exchange. Mussels, oysters, and clams are bivalves. No? Just remember about this thing. And then, yan nga po. Patulad sinabi ko, they are two-part shell. And then, foot used for anchoring and burrowing. And then, do not have a head radula or ice no and then by and then by bulbs use gills for oxygen and filter feeding and then according to um to this kind of um the, 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 another group which is the cephalopod the cephalopod group group no include the squid octopus and cattle with internal skeleton the chambered nautilus has an external skeleton while the octopus is shell shellless no so all cephalopods are described as the most active mollusk no um, they're moving very fast using arms and tentacles in catching prey. So, yeah, their, their name means head foot. And then their lack of outer shell, um, except Nautilus, <coughs> uses modified mantle to jet through the water. And then they use tentacles to capture prey. They're very complex sensory system. So, mapunta na tayo sa echinoderms. Um, they're the spiny skin as a result of the growth of endoskeleton called ossicle. No? Um, they are modified radial symmetry. It's either pentaradial, biradial symmetry. They possess water vascular system for food and wa waste transportation, respira respiration and locomotion. Sea stars have the ability to regenerate, katulad nung nakala nating lesson sa asexual reproduction, no, kayo grade 7 pa lamang po. A cut arm can easily regrow into a new sea star. Um, unique to echinoderms is the presence of the water-filled tubes that spread out to form the tube feet. Tube feet are used for getting food moving around and gas exchange. Yan po, nakikita nyo po yung kanilang characteristics. And then, echinoderm species which are edible include the sea urchin and sea cucumber. No, Holoturia edulis, a sea cucumber is dried and used as ingredient for chapsuy and soups. So, another, um, ano naman? Another type ng phylum na naman, which is the arthropoda. Have you observed what grasshopper, spiders, and cra crabs, and centipedes have in common? So, they have jointed legs. These animals belong to phylum arthropoda. Most successful of all animal phyla, they are present in almost all types of habitats. They are arthropods that walk or crawl. Some can fly, while others swim in salty and fresh waters. They are exoskeletons. This is made of chitin. Ano? Um, vary, um, it varies from thin and flexible to thick and hard exoskeletons. These animals grow a new skeleton many times in their life to give way to growth, specifically increase in size through the process of molting. No, eh, po yun. So, um, ito na nga po, no, meron, 
sa arthropods, meron tayong segmented, segmented appendages. No? So, kapag sinabi natin appendages, they, appendages may be used for avoiding predators, getting food, crawling, or swimming, walking and swimming. Crustaceans form one group of arthropods which includes water, fleas, crabs, shrimps, lobsters, and barnacles. Pero bago tayo proceed sa kabilang slides, I just want to um, to present to you kung ilan yung mga segmented appendages ang meron sa mga organism na nandito. Merong six appendage ang mga insects, eight appendage para sa mga arachnids or to become more specific para mas magets nyo yung mga spiders. No? Then appendages ay para sa mga crustaceans, one pair of legs per segment yung mga centipedes and then two pair of legs per segment ay ang mga millipedes. No? And then In terms of arthropods, they have hard exoskeleton and have mandible to bite and grind food. They live in water. You see in the, it in the soil as the small creature that rolls into a tiny ball when disturbed. Aquatic crustaceans have gills for breeding. Many crustaceans serve as a food for humans and the small ones are eaten by fishes and even the whales. No? So arachnids have two body sections. Most of the four, most with four pairs of legs and mouth parts called chelicere and chelicere. Chelicera and pedipalps. They use book lungs to respire. Spiders with thin and flexible exoskeleton are the largest member of the group. No? Just like yung sa susunod, no, meron tayong mga mites and ticks. No? Just, um, they are parasitic arachnids. No? They cause itching to some mammals including humans. Scorpions have a poisonous sting. The horseshoe crab, a close relative of arachnids, is considered the oldest living arthropod. No? And then, Um, yung mga millipedes and centipedes, their close relatives of insects have long, worm-like segmented bodies. They have a pair of antenna and each segment bear a pair of two legs. These animals live in the soil, under rocks or rotting logs and leaves. No? So millipedes have two pairs of legs per segment and roll up when disturbed. They feed on decaying matter. In terms of centipedes, they have a pair of legs in a segment. They have ven venom-containing claws and feed on earthworms, even other arthropods and small animals. And then next po yung mga insects. Insects form the largest group among arthropods. No? They have three body sections, three, ba three pairs of legs, a pair of antenna, and one to two pairs of wings. So insects are more adapted for flying and have tracheal tubes for re respiration. They are present in great numbers in all kinds of environment except in marine water. So exoskeleton of insects as that of a fly is thin. Insects are also successful animals because they reproduce rapidly. Dragonflies, grasshopper, aphids, and butterflies are some example na mga insect na ito. No? So, at ito rin yung kanilang mga other characteristics. So, hindi ko na po uh, babasahin no? since nandiyan na po lahat no? ng mga <coughs> ng mga example, ng mga subphylums, and then kung ano man yung characteristics na meron sila. So, yan po. So, ito po yung mga iba pang example ng mga arthropods. And then, nandito na tayo sa chordates. No? Yung mga chordates, no, or chord pylum chordata, um, they possesses notochord which develop into backbones or vertebral column. They possesses dorsal nerve cord and post-anal tail. During embryo, um, embry embryotic development, it exhibits pari um, pharyngeal slits which are developed into gills na makikita natin sa mga aquatic organisms and lungs which uh, exhibits dun sa mga terrestrial organisms. So, animals belonging to phylum chordata have four characteristics that are present in any of the stages in their life cycle. These are the notochord, the dorsal, hollow nerve cord, the gill slits, and the post-anal tail. In many chordates, the notochord later becomes the backbone. Humans being a member of the chordate group have the notochord tail and gill, no? and tail and gill slits only in the embryo or embryonic stage. No? And then next po, however, they are lower chordates that do not have a backbone. Example of the tunicates and lancelets. No? And then, the adult tunicates have only the gill slits present but the larva stage have all the four features. They attach the, to solid materials like rocks or coral reefs and they filter feeders taking in food particles suspended in water. So, landslets have the four coordinate characteristics present in the adult stage. They live in the sandy ocean bottom. They are also suspension feeders. Landslets move um, in a fish-like motion during the muscles on both sides of their body. So, ito po yung itsura ng tunicates at saka lancelets. Ayan po. Ayan. 
So, mag-focus na tayo sa vertebrates, no? So, in terms of vertebrates, most vertebrates are sea and land dwellers forming the large group of chordates. So, these vertebrates, uh, notochord is replaced by the backbone or the vertebral column. The nerve cord is enclosed by the projection of the vertebrae. No, the protected nerve cord enlarges at the anterior end to develop into the brain. So the tail can be the bone and muscles that animals use for swimming in aquatic species. Just like for example, yung mga isda. Ayan. So, sa mga isda, fishes are vertebrates found in salty, fresh, cold, or even hot water. Most have scales for protections, uh, paired fins for movement, and gills for gas exchange. Fishes may lay eggs to reproduce or give birth to leave the younger fishes. No? So they are called blooded, no? Blooded pala yun, not blooded, no? I'm sorry for that typo, no? Because their body temperature changes when environment and temperature changes, no? Ayan nga. Magbabago yung body temperature kapag nagbago din yung environment temperature. So certain fishes do not have true teeth or maybe jawless as compared to the others, no? So jawless fishes belong to class agnata. So examples of the lampreys and hagfish. Lampreys being parasites have tooth-like structures in their mouth that can attach to bodies of other fishes and feed on their tissues and blood. The hagfish is worm-like and use a tooth-like tongue to eat dead organisms. So, ito po yun. Yan po yung mga example ng mga jawless fishes. So, susunod naman po dito yung mga cartilaginous fishes. No? So, sa mga cartilaginous fishes, um, includes the ray, the ray skate, and sharks, so they have a skeleton made of the soft, flexible protein material called cartilage. Most cartilaginous fishes are covered with a tough, sandpaper-like skin due to the presence of tooth-like scales. Skates and rays have wing-like fins and move in a gliding motion through the water. Some of them eat floating plankton, while others feed on invertebrates at the bottom of seas and oceans. So, sharks may feed on small fishes or on floating algae. The whale shark or Rhynchodon typhus, no? the largest fishes and locally known as Botanding na makikita natin sa mga marine waters sa Cebu, Sor Sogon, and Dumaguete. So, ito po yung example niyan. No? So, the diverse group of bony fishes belong to class Osteochites. Osteotis, no? Osteotis pala yun. Take ties pala. Ayun. They are the fishes that have an endoskeleton made of hard calcium material called bone. Bony fishes are more familiar to you like bangus or the milkfish, tuna, goldfish, and tilapia. The non-familiar lungfish breathes through the lungs in addition to having gills also for respiration. Gills are worm-like fishes. No, katulad na nakikita nyo dyan. At nakikita nyo rin dito. So, amphibia no, means double life for, uh, from which amphibians got their name. This refers to animals no, that live part in water and part um, on land. No. Mostly small, shell-less, eggs surrounded by jelly-like substances in most moist places or in water. These hatch into tadpoles with gills and tails. They lose the tail to develop lungs as well as legs and move to land but close to water or damp habitats. So, and nakikita ninyo, yan yung mga examples ng amphibians. No, just like yung mga Sicilians, salamanders, pati yung mga palaka. No? So, they also have moist skin to help the lungs for gas exchange while in dry land. Amphibians are divided into the three groups. No? Just like yung Sicilians, salamander, pati yung frogs. No? And toads na rin. Sicilians live in water or bury themselves in moist soil. Salamanders live in forest floors under rocks and the gay logs. No? And then, alam naman natin kung saan nananahan din ang mga frogs. No? And then, both frogs and toads, and toads no, jump. No? Some frogs can live and attach to trees, trunks, and branches. Toads are terrestrial and can even survive in hot places or deserts. No? So, frogs have smooth skin while toads have rough or warty skin. Frogs and toads eat worms, insects, or small animals. So, in terms of reptile, um, there are animals that exhibit more adaptation for living on land. They lay eggs with shells to protect them from drying. So they also have smooth or rough scales for protection from loss of loss of body water. So um, lizards and snakes, no, have smooth scales. No examples. So examples of lizards are the house lizards, gecko or tuko, monitor, um, monitor lizards or bayawak, chameleon and horn toad. No. So snakes are legless and have flexible jaws to enable them to swallow their prey na buod na talaga makakain. A common snake species is the reticulated python um, seen in zoos. 
poisonous species include the cobra and the rattlesnakes. Snakes, however, avoid people and do not at- attack unless provoke or hurt. No, talagang gagantihan ka talaga niyan. <laughs> so, ayan po yung mga lizards at saka snakes. Alam niyo naman ang kanilang differences. So, ito naman yung crocodile at saka alligator. They are the... They are same as reptiles, so they are predators of fish, deers, small cows or carabos, and even attack humans. At maaaring natin itong, um, maaaring ikamatay natin ito pag naka, yun nga, maano tayo, talagang atakihin, talaga tayo ng buong buo. No? But ano yung pinagkaiba ng alligator at crocodile? No? Minsan kasi napapagkamala natin itong iisi. So kapag sinabi natin alligator, they live in fresh water and are only found in North and South America. Crocodiles live in fresh and salty water in tropical and subtropical region. So in the Philippines, two species are present in the endemic. No? Kapag sinabi natin endemic, nandun lang siya sa particular area kasi doon lang siya namumuhay, di ba? Hindi siya present sa kung saan-saan mang regional, um, kung saan-saan mang klaseng area or lugar. No? Just like yung Crocodilus mindorens- mindorensis, just like yung Philippine crocodile and the saltwater crocodilus porosus no so the Philippine crocodile is considered a critically endangered crocodile species sa ating mundo no at nakita naman natin dito yung differences between the crocodile and then yung alligator usually crocodile naman talaga nag-exist sa atin di ba and mostly nakita naman natin dito namumuhay siya sa either fresh water and then salt water tama then yung alligator makikita lang natin siya sa bandang Amerika diba? then the bodies of turtle and tortoise are enclosed in each um, in a shell the head legs and tail are pulled inside the shell as protection from predators. No? Um, tortoise live on land while turtles live moistly in water. Yung pawikan or the marine turtles live in the sea and females come to shore only to lay eggs. There are species of marine turtles which are at present in danger of extinction. So, ayan po yung pinagkaiba ng turtle at saka yung tortoise. No? So, next po. Birds are adapted to fly. Characteristics of birds that enable them to fly include the presence, um, yun yung presence ng alin yun, of wings, feathers, and lar- large flight muscles in the press bones and reduced weight. Birds weigh less because their bones and are light and hollow filled with air and also have le- have eggs with shells and have le- and the legs are covered with scales. Their body temperature remains the same despite varying environmental temperature due to the insulation provided by feathers. At katulad yung sinabi ko na nakaraan din sa, yun nga, kayang-kaya din makatambay ng mga ibon dun sa, um, dun sa kawad ng kuryente. Birds have bills or beaks, no? Yan. Um, and in coordination with the type of wings and feet they have are adapted to where they live and the kind of food they eat. Ayan. So, meron tayong mga tatlong klaseng mammals just like marsupials, monotremes, and then eutherians. I think this is the last, no? last part na rin. No? So, uh, in mammals, the, the mammals differ from the other animals because they have mammary glands that produce milk to nourish their young and most have hair or fur. So, they breathe in air, have four chambered hearts, and are warm-blooded. Most of them also give birth to live young and care of them. The first group of mammals called the monotremes. Monotremes lay eggs similar to those of birds. The spiny anteater or echidnas living in Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea, as well as the duck-billed platypus are monotremes. So, ayan po yung pinagkaiba ng platypus at saka anteater. Ayan po. So, yung mga marsupials, um, or the pouch mammal, also give birth to live young. After birth, the young are kept inside the pouch and are nourished with the milk from the mammary gland within these pouches. Some marsupials are found in Central and South America. The opossum lives only in North America. Others such as, as the more familiar koalas, kangaroos, and wombats and the flying phalangers are found sa Australia and New Zealand. So, ayan po yung mga marsupials. Mga marsupials po yan. And then, I think this is, uh, malapit na tayo matapos, nandito na tayo sa last part which is the Euterians. The Euterians comprise the largest group of mammals known as the placental mammals. They, they, bear, they bear fully developed young inside the mother's uterus. These youngs are you attached to the placenta through which they receive nourishment until they are born. After birth, they continue to be cared for and nourished by milk for the, from the mammary, mammary glands. So, and po yung mga example ng mga Euterians or mga placental mammals. Katulad na nakikita nyo dyan. Ayan. 
Um, so, dito na lang po nagtatapos yung ating lesson. At um, kung meron kayo mga clarifications, leave a comment below. And then, um, or corrections, no, leave a comment below. And then, that's all for today. Um, goodbye. See you for the next lesson. Do sa plant diversity.